Hey guys, welcome to Joey Stick. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Java on Mac OS. As the first step, all you have to do is to go to google.com in your favorite browser and type in the search bar Oracle Java JDK download. Hit enter and click on this first link that appears in the search engine results. Once you reach this side, all you need to do is to scroll down to the download section. I will be telling you how to install Java 19 in this video. Now over here in this section, you need to click on Mac OS since we want to install Java on the Mac operating system. And over here, you just need to focus on these two installers. You are required to use ARM64 DMG installer if you are using a MacBook with M1 chip. And if you are using a MacBook with the Intel chip then you are required to use this x64 DMG installer. I am using a MacBook that has Intel processor so I'll be using this installer to install Java hence I'm going to click on this link and the installation of the DMG file will begin since it's 177 MB hence it's going to take a little bit of time. All right the download is completed so I'm going to simply click on this file I've got this .pkg file of JDK19 which I'm going to double click on and it has opened the installer for me. I'm going to click on the continue button and it is telling me that it's going to take 325.7 MB of space on my computer. That's okay. Now I'm going to simply click on the install button. All right, it's asking me for my password. So let me enter my password. And the installation has begun and the installation succeeded as well. Great. So I'm now going to close this installation window by clicking on the close button. And it's asking me if I want to move the JDK9 installer to the bin. I'm going to click on move to bin because I don't want it to remain on my desktop. All right, it's time to open the terminal and check if Java is successfully installed or not. To do that, I'm going to click command space and I'm going to type terminal in spotlight search, click on it and the terminal is open. On terminal, I'm going to type the command Java hyphen version. And there you go. It says Java version 19 is installed on my Mac. This is the version that we just installed. Now the installation of Java won't be finished unless and until we set the Java underscore home variable. First, we are going to check what is the current value of the variable Java underscore home. To do that, we are going to simply type this command echo dollar java underscore home as you can see the java underscore home variable is empty as of now i am using the default z shell with mac os catalina apple has been using the z shell as its default shell i'll be creating a file dot zsh env in which I'll be setting the value of the Java underscore home variable. If you are using the bash shell, then the file that you are going to create will be dot bash underscore profile. But what value will I be setting in this Java underscore home variable? The value will be the home folder of the JDK installation, which I can find using the command forward slash USR lib exec forward slash Java underscore home. This is the path to the home folder of Java 19 JDK that we just installed. And now let's create the file dot zsh env. So I'm going to write touch and then dot zsh env. All right, file got created. Now I'm going to simply write open dot set sh env this is going to open the file in this file i'm going to write export okay let me change the case space java underscore home equals to now i have two choices number one i can copy this particular path and paste it over here that is going to simply do the job or i can write something like dollar and within brackets i can copy this particular command and paste it within brackets 
Now doing so is going to assign this path only to java underscore home variable. But this method has one more advantage. Suppose if you install an upgraded version of JDK in the future, then your java underscore home variable will automatically start pointing to the home directory of that JDK. So once you are done with this, you need to save this file. I'm going to press command S that has saved this file. I'm going to close it. All right. The next thing that we are going to do is to source this file. So I'll type source tilde forward slash dot zsh env. Okay. As an alternative, you could also restart the terminal. Okay. And now we are going to check what is the current value of Java underscore home variable. Earlier it was blank, but now since we set it with the home folder of the JDK installation, let's check what's the value of Java underscore home variable is. So I'm going to simply copy this command and paste it over here hit enter and there you go. The Java underscore home variable is pointing to the home folder of the Java 19 JDK. Now let's quickly check if Java is working fine or not. To do that, we are going to create a simple hello world program. So I'm going to get inside my desktop first in which I am going to quickly create a file known as hello world.java. And I'm going to write a simple program, simple hello world program within this file. All right. So I quickly coded the program. Now let's compile the program to do that. I'll type Java C hello world dot Java. Okay. It got compiled successfully. Now I'll simply type Java hello word. I hit enter and there you go. Hello world got printed. That means Java is working fine. And with this, we can say that the Java 19 JDK installation is successfully complete. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install Java on Mac from this video of Joey's Tech. I'll see you in the next video of Joey's Tech. Only for this video, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.